He's known by Liverpool fans as the Egyptian King. A hero in his own country, an icon in the UK. At 29 years old, he is in the prime of his career. So this week we're asking the question, is Mo Salah the greatest African footballer of all time? Hello there and welcome to Football Now from Doha. My name's Sanashu. Now with the African Cup of Nations in full swing, in this week's episode we thought we'd take a look at some of the continent's greatest ever players. And that includes this man, Mo Salah, who some are saying is the best player in the world right now. We'll come on to just why we think that he needs to be in the conversation as the best African player of all time shortly. But before we do, here's some things you might not know about football on the continent. Now, football is without a doubt the biggest sport in Africa, and while stats on viewership are few and far between, a 2011 sports market survey showed that 72% of people from the continent were interested in football, whilst 300 million were regularly tuning in to the Premier League. Football in Africa is, is massive, and, and, and when you look at it, you know, the passion people have for the game, it's, it's second to none. It's, it's, for a lot of people, it's, it's been a way out of poverty and it's like that around the world um, in South America and certain parts of Europe as well no doubt but for, in Africa it, it just means so much more. Now Africa has of course produced many many incredible players. We've picked players that certainly come into the conversation when it comes to the best African player of all time. Our first pick is Roger Miller one of African football's most symbolic Players. His hip-shaking corner flag celebration in the 1990 and 1994 World Cups went down in tournament folklore. Next, Didier Drogba, a man that was, up until October last year, the highest scoring African in the Premier League with 104 goals for Chelsea. Drogba is one of the continent's most decorated players too, having won three PL titles in the Champions League. Now, if you're searching for the perfect striker, go no further than this man, Samuel Eto, who is strong and skillful, fast and industrious. And unsurprisingly, his goal record is quite incredible too. He's the African Cup of Nations' highest ever goal scorer, whilst his strikes at domestic level have helped Barcelona and Inter Milan to four league titles and three Champions Leagues. And last, but by no means least, George Weah, a history maker, having become the first and only African to win the Ballon d'Or. Weah is a footballing icon, having scored 194 goals in 413 games. He is seen as one of the best players never to have played in a FIFA World Cup. Oh, I mean, you've listed some, some, some massive names there. And, uh, in my era growing up watching football, I don't think there's a player that you know, epitomized African excellence on a football field like Samuel Eto'o. He's, he's the current highest goal scorer in, in the Africa Cup of Nations. This is someone who's done it on the international stage and someone who's done it on the club stage. So why then should Mohamed Salah be considered, especially when he's not even 30 years old yet? Well, yet again, his numbers are quite incredible. As you can see here, he's bagged more than 20 goals in five consecutive seasons. This has helped him become the highest scoring African in Premier League history. He's also got the best goals and assists per game ratio in the whole of Europe. And he's scored more Premier League goals than any other player this season. In fact, the Egyptian has netted over 100 times in four seasons, including an incredible 2017-18 campaign that saw him score 44 times. Only Lionel Messi had more. I think Mo Salah's got to be in the conversation as well for, for best African player of all time. I think we all thought we were getting a good player, but we didn't quite think we'd get a player this good. And I think, you know, you, you look at what he's done in the time here. He's won the European Cup, he's won the league, and that league was so important for Liverpool fans as well, the first one in 30 years. He's already the, the best African goal scorer in the Premier League. He's already eclipsed Didier Drogba's record there. And I think when he, when he does hang up his boots, which is hopefully many more years to come and many more years with Liverpool, I, I think he will be considered right up there as, the, if not the best, certainly in that conversation, in that bracket of players I said earlier. But not everyone is in agreement with some saying that he should be judged at the end of his career. The, I think that we have to judge him at the end of his career. We, of course, I think he's going to be up there to, for, the, for, for debate. Uh, but. It's still time for him to add so many trophies and so many other accolades, you know, to his name. That is a little bit early for 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 a, a, a total deliberation, you know, a final deliberation. I think he's still got some time, but he's gonna be up there, definitely. 
Now, when talking about the greatest footballers of all time, the judgment should always be on their accolades on the pitch. But it is worth mentioning Salah's contribution off it too. He's built schools in Egypt, he's donated millions of euros to local charities, and he even marks every goal that he scores with the subdued, an Islamic protestation to God, something which has helped contribute to an 18.9% drop in Muslim hate crimes on the Merseyside in the UK. He's definitely, definitely a unique case, a case we never experienced before. He's our boy. He is such a down-to-earth person. He raised the level of ambition, not only for Egyptian youth, for everyone out there. He made a great model of a dreamer who worked hard towards his goals, and as hard as he worked, he achieved. We are extremely proud to have such a figure. He is every young boy role model. So the African Cup of Nations continues, and if Salah can lead his Egyptian side to tournament glory, would that cement his place as the greatest African player of all time? Do let us know using the hashtag FootballNowAFCON and we'll see you next time for more Football Now.